Hey guys and girls. So here's just a quick video about uh, drywall cutouts and electrical outlets or switches or uh, cable outlets. So what I like to do is if you have the switches and the receptacles already wired in before you're doing the drywall, which sometimes happens, you want to have power in the room, um, you know, it gets partially finished and then you're going back and you're finishing it after, you might have switches and receptacles to deal with. So what I like to do is I'll actually go in here and you can see that I've actually put electrical tape around the uh, screws and around the switch. Same thing with the, uh, the outlet boxes down there, it has tape around it. You slide it back in here and you go ahead and you make your measurements on the actual sheet and then just to clean it up because these tabs here they can be a bit of a pain to get it perfect I like to use I use just a straight Dremel and this is actually a roto zip uh, blade or uh, bit and uh, roto zip is what uh, most of the professionals use to cut out the boxes you could actually hang this sheet without even cutting anything out and then actually follow up with this and, and route around it. I like that, but if your marks are pretty good, you're gonna get it like 95% there, and then you just need this to clean it up. I use a nice little uh, drywall saw just to make those cuts easy. So that's, that's how I do electrical outlets. And then in the future, if anything happens with this box, it gets too close to the side of the box, or sorry, with the switch, if it gets too close to the side of the box, it won't rub the screws on there, short out. Uh, it's a little bit of extra protection. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Think about subscribing. I'm putting up new material frequently. Until the next time, guys.